Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. Uh, this package came from Urban EDC Supply. I know exactly what's in here, and I'm excited to get it out and talk about it just for a sec. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. There's a link for Patreon right down below, and uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Um, so this will, as far as I understand, gosh, I hope I'm getting this right. They reached out and said, you want to take a look at this? It drops next week. I will have links for, I will have links for the uh, pre-order on Urban, or not the pre-order, but the drop, I guess, on Urban EDC Supply. You can go look at this right now. It's a little teeny tiny guy. Um, I think this one is, did they send me a micarta one? Yeah. Uh, Jesper Voxnais, or is it pronounced Jesper? I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to, I'm not being sarcastic. I, I, I can never remember. It's so hard with the pronunciation. The Capita. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce this. Um, this particular one is M390 and Micarta. A little tiny guy, but hey, it flips. There's a nice little, actually choking up right here. <laughs> that's pretty nice. Um, they have a couple of different versions of this, a few different versions in Micarta and Titanium. This is just unboxing and first impressions, right? Um, the full review of this will come down the road. But I'll tell you guys right off the bat, uh, action feels eh, good, but a little tight, right? It's definitely not going to be a fall shuddy knife. Uh, the detent's good. It's small, so as you can see right there, kind of working out where to put my fingers. Uh, they kind of were... were probably the most appropriate place is going to be the pocket clip so that you're not putting tension on that lock bar. But when you get a hold of the flipper tab, it definitely does flip. Choked up, it's pretty nice. In fact, it's one of those knives that kind of defies the whole, I, I mean, I just automatically assumed, yeah, I'm only going to be able to get three fingers on this, but you can almost get four fingers on it when you choke up. It is ergonomic and that, you know, Voxnace, that definitely feels very Voxnace-y. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. I like how this pocket clip looks. I can't say that it's super comfortable as far as, you know, I, I can feel it digging into my hand, definitely. Lock bar inserts, M390. I'll, I'll tell you what I do like is the fact that they have rounded the spine. And uh, Voxnace Designs always do a good job of putting the jimping where you actually want it, right? It just cracks me up when we have jimping back. It's like, this is where I'm going to, you know, do that, right? Or it doesn't, if I'm going to make a cut and I need the full use of the blade, I'm probably not going to be holding it like this, right? I'm not going to be put, I'm going to be doing this to do some of the more detailed work, or I'm going to be holding it like this to push it through material. At least that's me. Finish is all right to a satin finish. Um, I do like that they kept all of the logos and things off of the blade. Um, so that's nice. Edge. Yeah. Nice and sharp. Uh, looks... I don't know. I mean, it looks like the, uh, let's, let's measure the blade stock thickness. That looks maybe like 125 thousandths or so. You always have to calibrate on a smaller knife. No, it's thicker than that. 135 thousandths, but it definitely does come down to a nice, reasonably thin edge for EDC. Yeah. Um, I'd say for somebody looking for, you know, a smaller, nice little, maybe an office carry, something like that, or maybe you just like smaller knives. This looks pretty good. I probably, the my card is all right. I pro, personally, I probably would go for the titanium, but they have multiple different colors of my carta. I believe they have these at $199 for these guys in my carta, which is pretty, I mean, that's pretty like on the money for, you know, titanium M390, right? I know it's a small knife. Can't have big price for small knife. No, 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 don't. It's not necessarily about the size of the knife, right? And then the uh, titanium ones are 240, I think. Yeah. A uh, couple of different. That's interesting how they do that. Look at that. <laughs> T8 looks like across the board. So that's nice. I like how they do the backspacer too. Or they raise it above the scales. Uh, lanyard hole that's not necessarily being prioritized over the clip. No lock stick or anything like that. And the blade is centered. 
Yeah, no blade play. Yeah, it's a good build. It's not incredibly, you know, oh my gosh, incredibly fall shot smooth, but I don't necessarily expect that from a teeny tiny knife, right? But yeah, I mean, it works the way that you would expect it to, and uh, well enough for a knife that's small and has, you know, any design that's incredibly small is going to give you limited access to the operational mechanisms. Wow, that sentence had way too many syllables in it, but cool, uh, aka, or that's what I'm trying to say there. All right, that's, I think that's going to be pretty much it for first impressions here. You guys, uh, if you want to make sure, what do we have here? It looks like maybe some glow beads. Ah, okay, cool. Well, um, make sure that you guys follow Urban EDC Supply on Instagram and check out their website uh, listing for this. They do have a lot of cool stuff, um, so I'll invite you guys to explore their website a bit if you haven't. Um, I, uh, I very much enjoyed uh, just checking out their stuff and seeing what they've dropped over the years. So, or well, I guess I say over the years, over the past year that I've been looking over their website, uh, to be honest, it's been about a year. So anyways, thank you very much to Urban EDC Supply for sending this in for me to take a look at. You guys can expect a full comprehensive review here in about, well, you guys will get it in about three, three weeks or so. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do not like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.